welcome to this video. Hi. I know this is very random. I wasn't planning on doing a vlog today, but I thought I should start it today. So first things first, I made this. It's hard. My nails are chipped. Well, my, my nail polish is chipped. Very not good. But that's not why I'm here. First off, hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning savvy baby, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, emotionally, physically, mentally. What else? Oh, wait. I hope you're doing well emotionally, physically, mentally, and everything, Jay. And if you're new, you don't know who I am. Hello there. I'm Cleo Ndamane. Consider subscribing. So first and foremost, happy Women's Day to everyone that identifies as a woman. I don't have much to say beyond that. Happy Women's Day to those that identify as women. Um, to all the mothers, sisters, women, women, happy Women's Day. I hope your human rights are not being violated today or any other day of this year and the next 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 and the, next and the previous and all the years and happy women's day considering that today is women's day day of recording i just wanted to pitch in because i haven't talked to you guys in so long and i know it looks like i'm really really close to the camera but the camera is 60 plus centimeters away from me no actually it is a good meter away from me but yeah that's not the point so i hope you guys liked the previous video if you don't know which one this is really going to be a vlog that is all over the place so initially i wanted to make a week in my life vlog as usual because those are fun to make and fun to watch for me personally but this week is not really a full week it's barely a week for me when it comes to school and stuff like that so i will kind of like make a week in my life at home edition so yesterday was on monday right yeah yesterday was monday and it was a university holiday at my school so i didn't go there yesterday and i spent a huge chunk of yesterday crocheting watching this specific show that i've been watching lately and doing some notes so i did get some work done okay i did get some work done today i woke up pretty early seven alarm woke up early told myself that i would start working i don't know what stopped me i'm not gonna lie i don't know what stopped me and remember in one of my videos in the past i said that i would like to get another phone i'm just ready to get a new phone because i've had this phone for like three years now it's still good i still like it but i want a better phone i got another phone and i'm sure if you watched the previous video you noticed the difference in quality options in quality options we are shooting things in 4k now we are shooting things in 4k now we are creating 4k content and i know not everyone can watch it in 4k but like i got hyped up because i've never made a video in 4k so um, my videos from now on will be in 4k i think i'll come back later so that i can like explain everything properly i just wanted to start this video here because i'm random
am. I just finished the presentation for my group for this module. Fun fact, this module we are having a practical, no, a practical on our timetable for this module. But apparently, people are saying that we're going to do the presentation during this practical period. But there is no official announcement from the lecturer about this. I'm whispering. I sleep so bad, but I have so much to do. I slept at 2 a.m. I still have a lot of things to do. I don't have the time or the luxury to sleep because I have so much to do. So let me get up. Okay, so I just finished planning for my day. Um, I have quite a lot of things that I want to at least get started with or complete. Um, please never mind my nails. The nail polish is chipping off naturally. I don't want to use acetone or anything like that. I have a couple of things that I would like to get started with. The first being my report for the practical that I attended in the last vlog. So every time when I do a um, practical for that particular module, I have to do a report accompanying it. it just makes a lot of scientific sense. I'm going to start that. I want to time blog in such a manner that I do at least one hour of work for each task that I have. So I wrote down three tasks today, so I will at least put in two, three hours of work today. But I think I'll put in four. I'll see so that I can like get that balance of like work and play. And since I am at home, I want to also learn the discipline of working while at home. So yeah, I'm gonna be very busy. I am going to utilize um, the anime Doro method, but in my case, instead of making it 45 and 20, I'm going to make it two hours and one hour break. I don't know how that's gonna break, or at least two hours and 45 minute break. Because I think that will be more effective for me personally. So, I just realized I didn't explain what the anime Doro studying method is. So, to put it simply, it is an adaptation of the Pomodoro method. However, in this case, instead of making it 25 minutes, uh, 25 minutes work and 5 minutes of break time, the time has been extended for each, so it is 45 minutes of work time and 25 minutes of break time, which is ultimately the time for an anime break. So I find that this is very effective. I will put the link of the person that invented this method and yeah, that's it. Okay, get back to the video. So yeah. Maybe I'll make it 3 hours and 45 minute break. I don't know, I'll see just how much I can get done in this space of time. And today, Samsung is having their unpacked program at like 5 p.m. today. And I don't want to miss that. So I want to be able to time block and make sure that I put one of my 45 minute breaks during the unpacked. And then I'm going to try to work even after. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to end at like okay it might start at four or five and then it might end at five or six 
around those times it's never longer than two hours when i've watched it or i've never watched it for more than two hours so i'll try to also utilize that because it brings me i'm gonna go start twerking and yeah hopefully i can get a lot of things done today okay so update um the samsung unpacked um thing is actually is at 3 p.m today so i think that i will do a three hours versus two hour work space and then in between i will add an hour break because three hours of work an hour of rest makes sense i'll i'll see but i am starting with my report right now so I'll, I'll have to time block this right now. finished my second session of productivity today and i am exhausted but i know that i have to first finish my third right and then i can relax because once i finish my third i'm basically done for this afternoon because i will take a break at like three or something and then i will continue working and i just received another activity that is literally due tomorrow is that I think I'm just going to push through get this activity done and then take my break and now it's pushing me behind schedule because I already had an activity that I was telling myself that I was gonna do in this session but now I have to change and do this particular activity before I can do anything else so I am just flabbergasted I am exhausted but I am pushing through because I haven't been working these previous days so I have to make it up for all of it today because honestly I just haven't had the desire to get things done and now I feel like I have to get things done so I should get things done and I will get things done before my break na, 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 na. This is that like the time I went off and I am exhausted so I am done. I will just continue with this activity later on today. I'll just continue with it later on today because honestly I am tired. I don't think I have the energy to continue working considering that I haven't even had breakfast. So I'm gonna go grab something to eat. I will take my break. I deserve it. I've been working straight for the past three hours so i think i deserve a break and yeah i'm going to go first i'm going to tidy up at the kitchen and then make something to eat and then tune into the unboxed unpacked program can't wait for it honestly and yeah i'm gonna go i'm hungry i am tired i am dehydrated so i'm gonna go and energize Do you feel proud of myself? 
myself but my body wants to be in bed. Hello, our portable gym began more than a decade ago. Functionality and innovation. Okay, so I just finished the Samsung Unpack Thingamaji and I liked it. Honestly, honestly, there wasn't much change, which is kind of expected when it comes to like Samsung, especially when it comes to the flips. I've noticed that they're having a pattern of like reusing the same the same design, external design for two generations and then switching it up and hopefully the next generation they will switch it up. And I'm glad that with the fold they didn't change the design of the phone itself. And of course they made a couple of improvements. I'm really tired, so my commentary this time is not as thrilling as last time. And this seems as if it's going to be like a tradition on my channel where we stream or stream the Samsung Unpacked program, specifically the August one, because I feel like I missed the Jan, Jan or February one, the one for the S series. And something that I would like to point out is that I've never actually seen them include their tabs, their, their tablets, their Galaxy tabs on the Unpacked program. Or maybe I'm being mistaken, I'm not sure. But I would love to see them like include the tabs as well because they do they are very innovative when it comes to like Android tablet scene. So I would love them for them to do that. Even if it's like a very small thing where it's just like explaining or at least taking the tab and integrating it with the S series premiere on the unpacked. You get what I'm saying. But yeah, that's pretty much my commentary about the whole thing. Um, I'm just really tired. That's why I'm not saying a lot this time. I'm going to go to the dining room and finish up on, uh, on the activity that I was doing. And then I'm going to read over the notes that we will be studying, that we will be lectured on for tomorrow. Because tomorrow I have one in-person class and a tutorial class. So the tutorial class, I have to first finish the activity first and then... For the lesson itself, the actual lecturing class, I will just read over the notes so that I have an idea of what we will be learning. I know this is really bothersome because it's literally the only finger that has a majority of nail polish. So let me go. I'll see you guys soon. Well, of course, you'll see me because this is a week vlog. So of course, you'll see me. Okay, so I'm done. I'm actually really done. And I honestly do not want anything to do with school anymore. I think what I'm going to do, since I'm going to be meeting up with a friend tomorrow, I'll just pick out an outfit. I'm meeting up with a friend at school, just so you know. I'm going to pick an outfit and check the weather. But my issue is that the weather, since my classes are in the morning, I don't want to dress too lightly because it's colder in the mornings than it is during the day. And by the time like I'm done with class, I will be heading my way back here. So I will choose an outfit. And then I will try to, I've been trying to get into like editing thumbnails on Canva. So I will try to do that and then see if I can edit my thumbnails that I've had before to look more appealing through Canva. Okay, so I'm done editing my first thumbnail off of Canva. And I think I like the way that it looks. Look at it right now. Look at it. It's really cute. I was surprised at just how easy it was for me to make this thumbnail and I think I'm going to start utilizing Canva for my thumbnails because this is really pretty. This is something that I would tune into. Yeah, <laughs> that was so random. Okay, yeah, that, I just wanted to tell you that.
Formal communication consists of the following except the grapevine. I mean, you would know. Because I'm the grapevine. No. <laughs> Symbolic interaction refers to organization. Okay. Is it a group? I don't know. Cheating on Kuzlet. Yo. We were right. The great value. You were right. No, I didn't know. Like a crown on the gun. Five tries trouble. Breaking into your heart like that. Cool, say stunner. Yeah, I owe it all to my mother. High, high summer. Yeah, I'm making you sweat like that. Oh, when I look in the mirror. I'll mount your heart in it too I got the superstar glow So baby, do the baggy things I step right left to my bitch I'd like to move up with me Know that I got the heat Let me show you cause talk is cheap I told you, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good Okay, in big girls. Okay, shut up. Oh. <laughs> Did you do something so at least that's one in my children. And the video is? It's like five. Does someone play music? It's loud. This is when you want to get somebody to say hi. <laughs> it's me for the night. Don't say that. I don't know. 20. Okay, the cover later on was really cool. Ah, it's not integration. What is it? It's school and school. It's not 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 school. It's 24 hours later Today was a long day 
Okay, so I just came back from school, but before I say anything, can we peep the outfit? I looked cute for school today, um, and it wasn't initially for school. I was going to meet up with a friend, hence why I'm dressed the way that I'm dressed, and we had a fun time. We went out with a friend. Well, we didn't really go out. We just chilled on campus, ate some scones and juice, and we just talked for most of it and we also engaged in terms of like assisting each other with our work so when I was waiting at the bus stop today I actually socialized with another human being it was so fun I, I was standing at the bus stop and then this other person also came and stood quite a distance away from me and I think it was because I had the earphones that they didn't feel like they they what they were going to they felt like Okay, I talked to them and then he said that they felt like they were invading my space if they if they had talked to me while I had my earphones on so I was the one who initiated the conversation. I've been doing that quite a lot recently like talking to people and actually initiating the conversation with people and it's been fun. It's been fun primarily because like most of the time when I do people like that um, they do uh, when I do talk to people like that they do say that I make them feel at ease and that I have good energy at times and that is one of the best compliments that a person can say to me ever. Like if someone just who doesn't know me and doesn't know who I am and the way that I am and they tell me that I have good energy when they first interact with me like that's just something that's just a top tier compliment on my books. And another first is that uh, I took the bus without my mask on so uh usually i tend to keep my mask on when i'm taking the bus and when i'm at school and then the person that i was talking to i told them that i don't usually like show my face and then they were like then they were like i don't i've never seen you and i was like yeah you probably have but i had my mask on and then they were like do you wear a mask because like you like talking to yourself and i was like okay you don't have to call me out on that and it was such a good conversation. I have had quite a nice time talking to people, considering that I barely ever talk to people. And I think that without my mask, I look, or I am more friendlier. Because when I have my mask, like people can't, can barely hear what I'm saying. And it's just a whole thing. Without the mask, like people can hear exactly what I'm saying. And uh, today I woke up at 5 a.m. Today was a good day. I'm not sure if tomorrow I'll continue vlogging, but if I don't, then um, thank you for watching until this point of the video. Really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, do consider liking and subscribing to the video. See you guys in the next one.